Hello guys, in this video we are going to see L298N DC motor driver module. With this you can control either two DC motor or a single stepper motor. In this video we are going to discuss how to control two DC motor with this. Now you can see we have two connectors here, this one and this one, the output one, two, three and four. With these two connector we have to connect to DC motor. These three pins is for power supply and this is for inputs. Now let me connect two DC motor with this. Here you can see we have to connect 5 volt. This is to internal function for the circuit. This is the middle pin, the ground and this is to power the motor. If you want to run your motor at 12 volt then you have to connect 12 volt. If you want to run your motor at 5 volt then you have to connect it 5 volt or any other voltages. But remember one thing, if you are going to connect more than 12 volt in this then you have to remove the jumper, this one, this jumper, okay? And if you are using less than 12 volt, then let it be here. Now come to the inputs. Here it is enable A and it is enable B. Enable A is to enable this motor connection and enable B for this motor connection. And input 1, 2, 3, 4 to control the motors. Run stop clockwise or anti-clockwise and if you want to control the speed of the motor then you need enable A or enable B you have to connect this two pin to the Arduino or any other digital IC okay now for this time I want to run my motor at 9 volt so I'll connect 9 volt here if the jumper is here then I'll get 5 volt in this point this jumper means this 9 volt is connected to the 7805 voltage regulator IC and this voltage regu and this regulator IC convert 9 volt to the 5 volt and this 5 volt will get it here. As you already know that we are getting 5 volt in this point. So I am connecting one wire. All the inputs are zero. Now I'm connecting this 5 volt to input 1. So the logic one will be there. The motor is running clockwise. Now I will connect input 2. Input 1 and input 2 is for motor 1 and input 3 and 4 are for motor 2. Okay, now input 2. This is running anti-clockwise. For input 3, it is running anti-clock. For input 4, it is running clockwise. So according to this, you have to write your program. So this is how these inputs are controlling our two motor. Now I will connect all the 6 input to the Arduino. As we are going to control the speed of the motor, so we need enable A and enable B. I'm connecting enable A to pin 9. Make sure your Arduino pin should be PWM pin. When you are going to control the speed of the motor, this pin should be PWM. Pin 2, 4, 7, 8 are not PWM pin, but pin 9 and 10 and these are PWM pin as you can see the symbol. So I am connecting enable A or B to the pin number 9 and 10. So I am connecting enable A to the pin number 9 and enable B to pin 10. Now I am connecting inputs. Input 1, 2, 3, 4, Arduino pin 2, 3, 4, 5. Enable A to pin 9 and enable B to pin 10. Okay, so this is the connection. This Arduino is getting power from system and this board is getting power from power supply. 
as there is two power supply so we have to connect ground of both the power supply here you can see I have connected the ground and this ground is connected to here the Arduino board ground it is connected both the motor is running clockwise and anti-clockwise now increasing the speed and slowing down clockwise and anti-clockwise and this will go on okay so this is how you can control okay so this is how you can use this motor driver module so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching